This was about books, and this was about talking about books. Okay. There's no way I would ever have predicted that we'd be talking to you today. Now we're getting down to business. This spirited discussion in a suburban St. Louis living room is just the latest chapter in a page turner of a tale spanning half a century. It began 50 years ago on nearby Northmore Drive, a neighborhood known for big block parties and 4th of July parades. They could write a book about that street. The kids all knew each other. Teresa Wetzel, Gloria Bauer, and Julie King were all neighbors there, each married, raising kids, and each, when needed, bending each other's ears about the stresses of motherhood. Until one night, the topic felt exhausted. I didn't want to talk about diapers and kids, and I wanted to talk about something that was intellectually stimulating. And so how did we do that? We sat on your We steps. sat on my front steps with Dixie Freaking Cups wine with and wine. We read the Time magazine. And so you had wine in your Dixie Cups? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Red, red okay. wine in the Dixie Cups. Sure. That talk planted a seed that would grow for decades. So I said, let's start a book club. And so we went to Gloria's back porch and we picked the book and it was Merle Miller's Plain Speaking about Harry Truman and the four of us sat down and talked about the book for the whole time with no kids and nobody interrupting, and it was wonderful. The book club started small, meeting monthly, with selections that served a purpose. We picked books that had teeth. Books that had teeth? Yeah. I like books with flawed characters. I'm always interested in redemption. That means staying away from what they say outsiders might expect a club of moms would choose. You call them bonbon books? Yeah. Yeah, to me, they're just beach reading. If I'm going to take the time out of my life to read a book, I want to come away with something. To have somebody else to talk to about something with substance was was really important to me. Over the years, reading historical deep dives, gripping memoirs, and twisty novels, word spread and the club grew. More voices required more rules. Tell me about the banana. Oh, the there banana. will be one. <laughs> we were talking over each other, and everybody said, no, stop, stop, I want to hear what she's saying. Stop, stop. And so I think it was Sue Guile that went to her refrigerator, grabbed a banana, and she said, OK, this is what? The speaker's going to hold on to the banana. Was there ever talk of letting husbands join? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Everybody Loved him dearly, but not for book club. <laughs> Rules helped sustain the book club through the decades. A reprieve from home life had become so much more. These are my backups. These are the people that take care of me. The common thread, fascinating reads. This month's Hidden Valley Road, a true story about mental illness and the power of family. Is it okay if I join your discussion? Oh, Having read we, it, is oh, that, yeah. I, we, but you can only talk when we give you the banana. The bana I'm so clear on the banana rules. Get what you want With their block party spirit alive and well, <laughs> it was time to dive in, banana and all. I picked it because there's just so much to talk about. Did you think that this was an appropriate diversion to the story? In the end, I felt like you, but it was self-doubt for me. There was so much back and forth about <coughs> nature versus nurture. I was glad I read it because I needed the information. And on this day, in the spirit of the book club, members took a moment to celebrate the story they've written together. One of you said, we had a book club before book clubs were cool. I've been saying that for years. We were way ahead of our time. Yeah. Proud of it too. <laughs> I love the Northmore Book Club guys. They are so cool. And by the way, each month's book, that's just a little bit of background here, is chosen by whoever is hosting the meeting that month. Hundreds of books later, they're obviously still going strong. We're 50 years in. And the ladies even talked about perhaps recruiting more members. They mentioned at one point younger members. I would just like to nominate myself because can we pull that photo, guys, back up? Look how happy I look in that photo. I was getting made fun of this uh, here at the Chicago Bureau. People were like, did you like? Did you think this was an audition to join wow. the Northmore <laughs> Book Club? They were probably like, it's just, they are such a cool crowd. Yeah. And we heard you did your homework, had, like you read the book. Yeah, there were, I had no choice. It really kind of resurrected a lot of those like college nightmares when you show up for the final and you're not prepared. Not really, yeah. uh, but it was real. They were serious. I love that. I'm sure they were great. Sure they I love the idea about the banana. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because, because we, we talk over that. each other all yeah, the that time. That is so true. <laughs> <laughs> so I, we, we can't. 
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.